Hello, YouTubers. Hello, all you FX9 enthusiasts out there. All right, today I'm going to give you an instructional video on how to properly remove the extractor from your bolts and also how to do an o ring modification to your extractor. Now, why would you want to do the o ring modification? Well, you want reliability to that extractor, you want to ensure that extractor is going to grab the, ri the rim of that round to extract it out of the chamber. That's why, okay? So if you're experiencing double feeding issues or stove piping issues, this potentially can be the fix to that. So without further ado, let's get started. What are you going to need? Well, first and foremost, you're going to need your bolt. So pull the bolts out of your FX9. You're also going to need two punches. One of those punches is going to have to be thin enough to get into this hole and push that pin out. The other punch is not going to be able to go through that hole, but it'll be able to drop into this hole. So those are the two size punches you need. You also need a hammer, you need gun oil, you need, uh, of course, O-rings, you need a clean surface such as a cloth, as what we got over here. So when you drive those pieces out, you're not going to lose them. So Fair warning, small pieces will fall out of this. So let's get started. Take your thinnest punch, put it in that hole as to where the extractor pin rests. Tap it out. Don't beat it out. You don't need to beat it out. We just tapped it out. So here's those two small pieces here. We have the pin keeper and we have the actual pin itself. After you drove those out, you can simply lift and remove your extractor. This is your extractor, welcome. Okay, let's get introduced to it. Your extractor, here's the groove that grabs the rim of the rounds. This spring, I don't know if you can see that spring. I'm trying to focus it in, hopefully I am. So, this is what we're gonna be concerned with, is that spring. The O-rings that you want are gonna be just big enough to fit over that spring. So when you put them over the spring, fit it all the way down to where it touches or to the base, you know, the spring or the when it starts touching the extractor, and you should be able to have a, enough room for a second O-ring. Drop that second O-ring on there, lock it in place. Okay, we got that. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and put a little dab of oil, lube it up, you're good to go there. Now we're ready to drop it back into the bolt. Simply just put it in the bolt. Take your smallest punch again. Line up that hole, that's what you're doing. And as you push that punch in, line it up, start pushing your pin in. And as you push that pin in, back the punch out. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find that hole to line it up exactly. We don't want to sit there and have to beat it down, but you're only going to go so far before it stops so then you take your other punch and you just simply tap that pin all the way down. To know it's all the way down, look in this hole and if you can see that pin up against that hole, you know you're all the way in. So we got the pin in. Now you take that split pin or the keeper, it's actually a split pin in a short size. You just line it up with that hole. You know one of the hollow ends down, one of the hollow ends up. I don't know if you can actually see that. But we got that and just start tapping it in. We're not beating it again. Take your larger punch. Just rest it on the wall of that keeper and take it all the way down. You want that keeper to be below the surface of your bolt here. If that keeper was anywhere above this, as this bolt is going back and forth through the upper receiver of your weapon, it's going to gouge the upper, the upper receiver, it can bind and actually lock this in place. So drive that keeper all the way down. There you have it. That was your O-ring modification. That was also the proper way to remove your extractor from the bolt. So you're welcome for that bit of video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you got any questions, please ask. Feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer. But uh, oh, before we get to that point, I'm sorry. Why did we do the O-ring modification? Well, you have a spring in there that you saw. And what you're doing is, you're extending the life of that spring when you added those O-rings. 
The O-rings, as you double them up there, are taking away some of the pressure from the spring and they're dispersing them out through the whole unit. You know, the O-rings and the springs combined, or the spring combined, not springs. And uh, what you did is you just extended the life of that, that extractor spring. So like I said, this potentially can feed, uh, fix your double feeding or stove piping issues. You will have a little play. It's going to be tight, but that's what you want. You, you want exactly that. All right, well, you are done. You're ready to drop this back in your upper receiver and go to the range. Anyway, you have a good day. God bless you. God bless America. God bless President Trump. And especially, God bless our Second Amendment. Thank you so much.